everyone. So in this video, it's going to be the part two of the previous video, which we're talking about why ion has two valencies. So actually, uh, I'll try to explain in a much more detailed way by using Aubus principle these things in an extra. Extra, I'll talk about it later. Okay. So firstly, going into it, so most of your people were having a lots of doubt based on this. Yes, most of you are asking why the possible one is about. Uh, I mean does not work the possibility number one does not work and some of them were asking me why uh valency one is avoided really so i'll i'll tell all i mean i'll give answers for all your questions and i'll also i'll try to improve my accent too if you're unable to understand okay so this was my previous video if you haven't watched it i have given the link in the description so kindly watch it so uh just for a small summary so ion is uh given in the letter i mean it is in simple words it is given in the shortcut called fe it has two valencies one is two plus another is three plus so whenever why this plus uh symbol comes because whenever an element tries to lose electrons so in this case ion loses two electrons so it has uh, gained the valency has two plus and here three plus so i'll explain you in detail how does it really come i mean how really the the electrons i mean correctly why there are two electrons excluded are going out of ion and again three electrons are going out so for this you should be really aware of something called the of bus principle i have made this uh video based on this also so that was my previous video so just go kindly watch it Le so let's continue so firstly let me explain you why ion got its valency has two plus okay so firstly talking about the valency i mean uh this electronic configuration so i told you it's based on off bus principle only if you know this off bus principle as you can see 1s1 2s2 2p6 then only you will be able to write the electronic configuration so go kindly watch the video only then you can understand the how to i mean understand the electronic configuration and removal of electrons okay so let me start with the first one how i am is getting its valency has plus two. The normal electronic configuration of the ion is here you go. That is 1s2 going on 3d6 and 4s2. So as you can see here, the first thing you have something called shells and another, another has something called the subshells. How can you differentiate these both? Yes. So, uh, as you can see the shells here, what can you really understand? K, L, M, N, you have, I mean, you have been learning this from a very long period of time, I hope. And similarly, talking about subshell, which are introduced newly, okay? So actually, subshell, S subshell can hold two electrons. P subshell can hold six electrons. D subshell can hold 10 electrons. And F subshell can hold 14 electrons in total. So S, C, it can hold two. And again, it's going to the next one. It is two. Again, P, it's going to six. And S, it's going to P. I, I mean, two. And again, it's going from P and six. So if you see in this case, it's a bit different here. So that's why there is a problem of uh, I am getting plus two valency. So if you see here, without completing the 3D, Actually, the D subshell should have 10 electrons, but only six is given. You need four more electrons, is it? So you need exactly the four more electrons and then only you can move to the next one, isn't it? Like after completing S, completely two electrons, then only you're moving to the next one. Again, P is over, then only you're moving to the next one. But in this case, what happened really, Yes, without completing the D of totally 10, it has, I mean, it went to 4S2. So there is a separate reason for this also. I don't want to bring that into video. Okay, in this uh, video, I'll take, uh, if you want, I'll make a separate video on that. Okay, so as you can see here, 3D10 should come, but only 6 is given. So now in this case, you know, every metal wants to lose electron and gains its stability. Is it? Yes, of course. So in this case, here, how can this metal lose the electrons? Yes, it can directly lose this electron. I mean, 4s2. So if in this case, if you see, uh, I wrote uh, 3d first and then 4s. Is it? In this, I mean, in similar way only I wrote. So now if you see, you may start uh asking the questions of course my comment box will be filled with this question only next in the before slide has i showed you the firstly the 4s came and then only 3d came why did you write 3d first and 4s okay if you want you can write like this okay 4s2 
and 3d6. Okay, fine. Yes. So now in this case, what happens? So it's completing its shell and going on. Okay, never mind about that. So if you see here, instead of losing this much electrons, I mean, at a, all of sudden, how can a metal get removed of, how can it be, how from a metal, how can it remove six electrons at a time? You can't do that, is it? So behalf of removing the electrons from this, you just forget this, okay? So behalf of, uh, I mean, removing the electrons from 3D, okay? so you're going to remove from 4S. So it becomes 4S0. So there are no electron in 4S, which is there are no electrons in this 4S orbital. Okay, other substance. Uh, so now, then what will be the exact configuration after this 4S gets removed or this 4S gets removed? So the next configuration will be removing that 4S2. You're going to write the configuration. So I after I removed this 4S, so that's why it's coming. See again, the same 1S2, 1S2, 2S2, 2S2, 2P6, 2P6, 3S2, 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 3P6, 3P6, and 3D6 and 3D6. I have removed 4S2 because iron is like losing two electrons. Whenever a metal loses an electron, it gets positively charged. Hence, the iron here is removing two electrons from 4s orbital. So as you can see here, you have two has, it's removing two electrons and getting this electronic configuration. Hence, you get the ions real valence E has Fe2+. Plus. And this is the exact reason that why ion has, the valence E has two plus. Okay then. And secondly, talking about why ion has three valencies. So here you go with the real configuration again. I'll re explain with the real configuration. So now if you see in this case how it's getting three plus. So firstly, its actual configuration is given here as I'm showing you in this region. So now what happens is absolutely the same reason why 4S2 is removed because a metal has tendency to lose electrons. So it is losing these two electrons. Okay, leave it. And the, uh, I mean, it's Fe2 plus. Uh, then why did you write Fe3 plus? Where this one, this one more electron got lost. So that, that I mean, that will be your uh, most invited question. Okay, let me tell you the reason for this. From which orbit all, or from which subshell is going to be removed is from this 3D6. Why? Let me tell you. As you know, 3D can occupy, I mean, 3D can have 10 electrons in total. Has It has five orientations. In five orientations or in one orientation, one orientation is nothing but one box. So in one orientation, how many electrons can be placed? Two electrons can be pay, placed. And again, totally you have 10 electrons. Then 10 divided by two, which is going to be giving five. So that's why you have five orientation for the D orbital. So in this D orbital, just fill out this six electrons according to Orbach's principle. Or uh, I mean the yeah. So I mean you can say Hunt's rule of multiplicity. Uh, it's not coming in my mouth. Uh, never mind about that. Okay. So firstly, you gonna fill this electrons according to Hunt's rule. You should remember that always the electron should be half filled. It should be filled firstly like this, okay? As you can see, it should be firstly filled similar to this, as you can see at this region. It should be firstly filled like this. And then later, and again, if you have some extra electrons, then only you have to come and fill completely, similar to this, okay? So now I'm gonna fill this 3D6. There are six electrons here. So I'm going to bring the six electrons and fill. Firstly, I'm filling half fill. I'm filling it half. Then there is one more electron because five electrons are filled. I have six here. There is one more electron to be filled. So I'm again keep placing the an another electron. Now, if you see, uh, I can just remove this electron, isn't it? So uh, absolutely metals have tendency to lose electron. Sometimes the electron, the extra one electron, why it is getting removed again, you might be asking me. Again, again, chemistry itself like a mystery. So let me explain you that also. So I'm going to remove this electron. 
this one electron where it is coming from yes it's coming from here the green color ones which i marked the arrow the green arrow is nothing but the one electron which will be removed and this orientation will be changing similar to this one okay so i hope you can understand till this and don't just think that why i drew two times because after losing the electron this is just before losing the electron and this diagram is for after losing the electron okay and is changing to this so as there are five electrons the six will be changing into five so hence you get 3d5 here and this is your absolute configuration of fe3 plus and, and i told you that i'll be explaining you why this electron particularly this electron why only you want to remove that electron so that was the first question i hope so okay so this will be a uh, another question that is why you need to remove this electron let it be aside so let me tell you like uh, a normal thing like a human selfishness okay so this human the red color all are humans okay so for now let me erase this part so there will be no much confusion or just forget this diagram okay so just forget this diagram and uh, try to concentrate here so uh, what to concentrate here is you're gonna see that uh, all the red has red arrow marks you just remember all these red arrow marks are nothing but the humans and humans here have uh like here in this place this green is nothing but job so what happens here the natural human mentality everyone knows because you itself know you are itself human so what others will try to see only he have the job even i why 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 can't we have so these all four will plan to uh, like he have to get fired we have to create a bad impression uh, on him with the boss so that his this green color also will be getting removed okay so that will be the uh, actual human mentality so after that the green color job will be removed huh? so uh, due to this all four selfishness this electron from the first orientation is getting removed so hence we uh, like we write it has 3d5 and this is the actual reason which i'm trying to tell you and express in a simple words for the people who are like asking me and uh, i would like to clarify the doubts of them so let me go back to the some of the doubts which were asked by some of them so the first question is from barun kodanram so i'm sorry if your spelling is really wrong uh, okay never mind about that so the question is could you please explain me why valency one is avoided actually this is from the previous video as you can see why i have no i told you in the previous video that they are not stable because the only uh, electron can be removed directly from s orbital it can like cannot be like you can't remove one by one because like if you also remove extra like from this orbital you can i mean from this orientation you cannot remove one electron alone and again uh, uh, this will be empty so this would be not nice so it it cannot be stable so actually remember that only fully filled configuration so what do you mean by fully filled con configuration that's your next question so the fully filled configuration will somewhat be like this like all will be filled and talking about the half filled configuration it will be like this as you can see aside so this is half filled and this is fully filled so this fully filled will be stable more stable and half filled will be stable alone but this won't be stable hence it is losing electron and you get this 3 plus and if you take out this electron right if you would take this electron alone so what happens if you take that one electron alone and again there will be a problem stating that there is no electron here and again it will be unstable it will uh, jump to higher level lower level everything like it will run here and there so i don't want to do uh, uh, happen like this so hence uh, like we are avoiding the uh, valency has one for so the ion you cannot you can only get fe2 plus and fe3 plus i hope this question is clear and secondly it's from the previous video i guess possibility one also is like same i hope i answered the question okay so even though it's like possibility one 
I really don't remember like uh, the possibility one is based on the valence E5, uh, 4, 3, 2, 1. So as I told you for now, only 2 and 3 was only possible, not the other 3 is not possible because even though if you remove four electrons, for example, this two electrons over, and again, you have to remove two more electrons. So as we know already, what is the electronic configuration here you'll be having? So this will be your electronic, I mean, orientation representation. How will you represent uh, using the orientation? It will be similar to this. So if you want to remove four electrons, no, you have to remove one, two, three, four. It will be like un highly unstable. You, I mean, you, you cannot really get uh, this. It will be not stable. Have the same reason for everything it applies. For every valency, four, uh, five, four, and one. It cannot be done. Only three and two is only possible. I hope this uh, reason which I stated is clear for you all people. And this is what I was trying to show you people uh, using the diagrammatic way, okay? So Fe2 plus will be having like this and Fe3 plus will be having like this. And after this removal of electron, it becomes a 3D5, but here you'll be having 3D6, okay? So I hope uh, talking about this video is really helpful for you. So bye-bye, see you next video. I mean, next Wednesday. Until then, stay tuned. Bye-bye.